Hi everyone, it's Dr. Frankie here and I'm the Health Expert Ambassador for FemFresh. I'm going to be producing a series of videos every month educating you on different topics about women's health and this video is going to be on skin pH balance. So did you know that the skin all over our body is inhabited by lots of bacteria and I mean millions and billions of bacteria which all live in harmony as the microbiome and the gut microbiome is really trendy but I want to chat to you about the microbiome of the vulva and the vagina because that is actually very important for female health. So the microbiome and all of these bacteria that live in harmony with each other affect the pH of the skin. So the pH of our skin tells us how acidic or how alkaline something is. So pHs that are less than 7 are acidic and above 7 to 14 is alkaline. So the pH of the vulval skin is actually more acidic than the rest of the body. And this is because there's lots of lactobacillobacteria which maintain a slightly more acidic pH of 3.5 to 4.5. When the pH of the intimate skin gets imbalanced, it can cause things like irritation and dryness and discomfort, but it can also cause things like infections, so yeast infections like thrush, and also things like bacterial vaginosis. And there's lots of things that can actually throw the pH off its slightly acidic balance, and some things you can control and some things you can't. One of the common culprits, and this is for both men and women, is using sort of harsh, fragranced washes down below. Actually, the vagina is self-cleaning, so it's natural to produce a clear discharge um, which self-cleans the vagina. And often people use really harsh, fragranced body washes, which can actually be really stripping of the normal bacterial flora, which can mean that the pH becomes less acidic. And as I mentioned, that can cause irritation, dryness, and even infections. So it's I like to think of it of treating your... Um, intimate skin and caring for your intimate skin the same way you would your face so you wouldn't use your fragrance body wash that you got with your perfume at Christmas on your face and um, so you shouldn't really be using it down below it's totally fine to wash with just warm water and lots of women like doing that but if you prefer using a wash then I would recommend looking for something that is pH balanced and um, both gynecologically and dermatology tested and FemFresh do lots of different washes um, which may be suitable for you. Um, the 0% Intimate Wash um, is fragrance free, soap free and it's made with 94% natural ingredients. So if you like using a wash then this is a really gentle option that you can use and it won't disrupt the pH. And um, as I mentioned you can also use warm water, um, that's totally fine too. So we mentioned that harsh body washes and um, soaps can sort of knock the pH off balance, but also other things can. So um, during menstruation, that can affect the pH, sex can, diet, stress, and also things like what you wash your clothes in, so your laundry detergent, and even the material of your underwear. So it's recommended to use um, cotton underwear because it's more breathable. Another common culprit for knocking the pH balance off is actually medications. So some antibiotics can cause things like infections down below, such as thrush. So sort of those antibiotics go and target the healthy bacteria of the vulva as well and can disrupt the microbiome that I mentioned earlier. So some antibiotics can cause some irritation and discomfort down below. And it's important that if you get any symptoms that you chat to your doctor about that. I think there's a massive stigma around feminine hygiene and I'd actually rather talk about this as sort of vulval care rather than vulval hygiene. It's completely normal to have a slight odour and some discharge and we don't need to be over washing down below. Once a day is fine. As I mentioned, you can wash with warm water or a pH balanced product such as the FemFresh 0%. But I really want to avoid this kind of judgement about feminine hygiene and this feeling that young women need to be over cleaning down below. And as we talk about vulval care, it's important that you know that what works for you might not work for your friend and what works for your friend might not work for you. Everyone's different. So it's worth sort of testing things out and seeing what works for you. You know, someone might recommend a product and that might cause irritation for you, whereas your friend might have used it for years and had no problem. So everyone's different. And I would say if you have any person specific symptoms, then it's worth chatting to your own doctor about. It's important to get to know your own normal, so your own odour and your own discharge. And if you notice a change from your normal, that's the time to speak to a doctor about it. If you have any questions about skin pH and the vulval microbiome, then please drop me a comment and question in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and there's lots more educational content to come. My name is Dr Frankie and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.